write a small response back. Don't write a small response like, I read it, it was a cool paper. That's not what I mean by small. We will, there are examples you can find on the web page about what we're looking for in terms of a response. And I'll, I'll post more about that. The first one will be due on Monday, so you have some time. Okay, so reaching us, you, you could basically, questions can be on Piazza um, for things like the course material, a lot of discussions, grades and assignments on B courses. Uh, also, if you have private questions, you should just ask, you should ask us basically through, like privately through. Uh... Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Yeah, no, uh, hold on a second. Really? Wait. Um, wait, this is, well, no, it's a good time. Let's give it just one second. Um, no. Wait, this is... Yeah, no, no. Both of you? Did you see that? I wasn't there. You were there? Oh, my gosh. What, did you find that? Okay, listen. Um, yeah, now's good. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, can you do me a favor, though? Just, um, here, uh, can you just, I gotta, I'm doing 160, I know, I, they won't notice if I leave. I'm just gonna, uh, um, just handle class for a couple minutes, okay? All right, let's see here. Hi, class, uh, I'm gonna be taking over for a little bit. Uh, so let's see what we have here. Uh, this slide is about assessment. So the goal of each assignment is really to help you build the skills to design and evaluate user interfaces. So for many of you, this may be your first design course. So you're going to feel a little bit at odds at how we grade your assignment. These are qualitative assignments. There is no correct answer, and it is your task to be able to communicate why the decisions you make are the better solution for your specific user, context, or situation. Each assignment will have a specific brain and rubric, and many of you will be tempted to do the bare minimum to fulfill the guidelines. However, you should always exercise in your judgment on what makes up a good design, and you should be able to communicate this in your oral, visual, and written presentation. Some of these assignments will be in groups where you will have the opportunity to self-assess the performance of you and your teammates. So in terms of grading breakdown, it comes down to the following. 20% will be on participation. This will largely be based on the attendance uh, on the mandatory dates that have been outlined in the syllabus. And most of them, keep in mind, are the last three weeks of the semester. Um, on top of that, we'll also factor your reading responses and uh, the class and Piazza discussions. 20% will be on individual programming assignments. And the midterm, uh, let's see here, on October 15th will count for 25% of your grade. 35% will be concentrated on your group project, including your final project. And please note that unlike many classes CS, there is no written final, like Professor Paulus already mentioned. It is therefore incredibly important that you carve out enough time at the end of the semester to spend time to work on your final project. So uh, let me get a rate of hand of those who have been part of a project before in a course. Yeah, let me see those hands. Okay. I'm seeing. I'm back. Okay. Thank you, Cesar. First, a profound apology to the many of you 
that this felt very disrespectful and I acknowledge that and I'm sorry. But I know that doesn't, obviously many of you are very dedicated and passionate about this class and for that I am happy that you're here. I want to just call out that experience of when someone's not fully engaged and not paying attention and not part of the class and you noticed, hopefully. But also, that it makes a difference because I can't put this on. Uh, that for a lot of you, fine, you're going to be here, but also sometimes you're not fully committed to your group. You just lose interest. I just want to say I am here wholeheartedly, except for those two minutes that I walked out, and I'm sorry about that. But otherwise, I'm here, and I really want you to think about how your passion for a class, for a job, for a commitment to a group matters. And people can tell when you're doing other things, you care about other things more than what you're in. So try to be engaged. I probably got everyone's attention that was maybe not paying attention at that moment. But hopefully you don't need to do that to always have people's attention. So try to uh, hopefully remember that when you're thinking, I'm just not going to show up for that meeting. I'm going to blow off class. I'm going to like, you know, phone in some particular assignment. You'll be like, yeah, no, I'm going to go. I, I don't want people to think that I'm not fully there. All right. So let's, let's, let's be committed to the class together and I'll be there with you. All right. And I won't take more phone calls. I promise. <laughs>